Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tyler from 10thumbspro.com, teaming up with JellyNote.com again to bring you some more tasty goodness. Today we're doing Let Her Go by Passenger, alright? Now, if you haven't followed along, you're going to have the chords, but we're going to have minors in there. We're going to have E minor, B minor, a bar chord, and we're also going to be practicing our strumming, changing on the offbeat, like one, two, and, alright? So if this feels a little overwhelming for you, check the links below because we sequentially have been building to this point. And if you're ready, that makes me pumped, all right? If you're not, practice a little and come back. But if you're ready, all you really need is that ukulele brand and attention span. You got those three things? Follow me on in and let's break this one down right now. All right, so let's talk about the chords we're going to need for this song. In the chorus, we are going to need the C, the G, the D, and the A minor. Now that switch from D to A minor can be pretty tricky, okay? So go ahead and take some time before you even start to play this song to just practice one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And some tips for that switch is I like to keep my elbow, you see my elbow, out a little bit on my D and bring it into the E minor. And that helps me with that transition, okay? We're also gonna see a B minor in the um, verse as well. Okay, so you need a bar chord. Up to this point, you've been following us every Saturday. This is kind of a combination of everything that we've done so far, but we're gonna mix up the timing. So this is testing your skills. All right, or make sure you check out the links below if it's a little advanced for you and you can kind of follow progression as we introduce the chords one by one. We learned uh, the B minor with Diamonds by Rihanna. So they're all down there. The information's down there if you need more practice. All right, so what's tricky about the chorus is we're going to change on the offbeat. What does that mean? Well, usually when you tap in your feet, you're counting one, two, three, four. But with this song, what makes it really, really nice, and a lot of pop songs do this, um, and a lot of them sound really nice when they do it, they go one, two, and, all right? So they change on the and, so it goes one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. And in a strum pattern, it's going to look like this. Okay, because the chord progression is going to go C to a G, D to E minor, C to a G, D, and that will hold for the whole measure, okay? So it looks like this. changes you down. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. Really slow. Okay, so let's examine that strum pattern really, really slow. It's going to go down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. For the second time through, you're going to hold on that D. The easiest way to do it is with the same strum pattern, okay? So, the whole chorus, let's go ahead and play through that progression two times. Remember, the second time through, we're going to hold on the D, okay? Alright? And that's the chorus. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the verse. I'm going to go ahead and play through, um, well the progression goes E minor, C, D, B minor, and then the second time through it's going to go E minor, C, D. Same thing as the chorus where the D's going to be twice as long. So let me play through it for you really quick so you can get a feel for it. Alright, 
and I'm just going down up 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 little slower down up 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 okay so let's play through the verse together full speed Okay, now to make this sound a little cooler, um, the down up, down up, down up, down up. You add a little emphasis on every other down. Down up, 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 down up. Alright? So let's go ahead. Now the trickiest part for this song, for me anyways, is to switch from the rhythm which is on the offbeat, back to the straight rhythm. So let's go ahead and try to play through the chorus and the verse together. And uh, after the verse, the last time through on the D, we'll go ahead and we'll play a C chord, we'll finish right there. And you got the song, all right? So let's go ahead and see if you can play through the chorus and the verse, you got it. Okay, so here we go, nice and mellow from the top. And that's how you strum through the tune, okay? I hope you dig it. Um, tune in next Saturday. What are we going to do next? We're going to introduce a new chord. We're going to teach you a bunch of new songs with the chords you know. We're going to introduce finger picking. We're going to go somewhere else to talk about seven chords. Only one way to find out. You got to tune, okay? All right. See you next week, everybody. All right. That was the latest and greatest from our collaborations. We're doing them every Saturday, okay? So check it out. Come next Saturday, see what we got going. Nothing but goodness, nothing but tastiness. All right, happy to bring it to you. And until next time, just keep on ukulele in, all right? That's the goodness. And if you have to let her go, let her go. But some things are worth fighting for. All right, everybody, take care. Until next time.